Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Civilization VI Gathering Storm, where we'll continue to gather and storm all over these barbarians. And also, pump out a trade route between Roxborough and Sterling. It's pretty great. Sterling is actually growing huge, I feel like, right now. Uh, I'm going to have these guys stand around, and when we can afford to, we're going to upgrade them to archers. But I feel like... No, Sterling's already at 5 population. It's not even turned 100 yet. I love it. We got a trade route going. Nice. We got roads between two of our lands, which is wonderful. And we're going to have a nice campus up here soon. So you know what? Let's send our warriors up here to defend this campus. Because it'll probably need it. I like a little fire here in our encampment. It's adorable. Roxborough needs housing. It's building a granary, man. We're working on it. All right, we're doing what we can. We're a little low on cash right now. And by a little, I mean a lot lower than I want to be. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. I almost definitely want to see if I can get Temple of Artemis. Each camp, pasture, and plantation within four tiles of this wonder provides extra amenity. Four food, three housing. I... Yeah, two turns for the campus. I almost definitely want to go for that next. Let's get irrigation, because there's a lot of stuff we can use for that here. We're one gold away from an upgrade. Yeah. All right, that, that just means next turn. Civilizations have uncovered new technologies and civics. And soon the world itself will reach the dawn of a new era. Dude, we have literally nothing keeping us out of a dark age. Because we haven't met anybody. Oh, man. You know what? Let's move forward. We gotta start trying to stomp out some barbarians or something. Otherwise, we're almost definitely looking at a dark age. Not that it'll matter too much. This affects um, loyalty. We now have the opportunity to appoint a governor to our civilization. This governor will be a powerful... We are now ready to choose which- Shut up, I'm mad right now. They t attacked our farm. I mean, you know I gotta go with Pingala. Librarian, it's too good. Plus, we're about to have our a campus here. Is now on their way to their assigned city. In fact, we strong do. economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. Production towards wonders. Um, extra, or less gold per unit. And a government plaza for some loyalty and such. All good. There you go. Plus three era score for our amazing campus. It's a start. Let's get mysticism. Sterling. I could put a library there right away, but I want to go for the Temple of Artemis. So I'm going to do that and hope that we can get it. Nice. Beautiful. All right, head up here. We need to start fighting these fools. If we could take over at least one of these, we might be able to get closer to staying out of a dark age. But right now, I'm really doubting that's going to happen. Ugh, that means we need another builder. It's going to cost 320. Jeez. I mean, we do have a minor victory here. So we might as well attack them. And then get our archers up here. That's what I want to do. Scout. Keep defending. Not too much we could do with the scout. Okay, he's just moving around. We are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. The more specialized districts we construct. Yes, yes, I know. More great people points we can get. I've heard of this theorem. It's not really a theorem, but I know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. Go ahead and defend yourself. We're going to just stay on the defense for a bit. Someone else built Stonehenge. I'm not leaning towards religion, so I'm not too worried about that. A couple more turns for the Ancient Era. We're on hills here, so maybe we'll be able to attack the encampment. Thousands have lived without love. Not one. Without water. We can harvest bananas, my dudes, for extra gold. And also consider the um, hanging gardens. 
Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do currency. Why not? The knowledge of money could be a good thing. Nope, we can't do it yet. Okay. They're probably going to need to be, like, literally next door to be able to do that. So, you know what? Knock these guys out. Are you actually insulting me right now? What the hell? I mean, that was kind of the... What I wanted to happen, so thanks. Bengala's in Sterling. We got a camp. That's three more era score and advancement toward military tradition, but I don't think we're staying out of the Dark Age this time. Not unless somehow I get a bunch of production towards the Temple of Artemis out of nowhere. Nice. That was actually quite beautiful. Yeah, we're not... There's no way we're avoiding a Dark Age. Let's have you head back. Have you shoot these... This guy here. Get out of here. We're gonna have everyone heal up. Thankfully, since we're on our own island, we don't have to worry too much about... Um... Loyalty. Since we're not gonna have too much pressure from other nations coming through. I know you need more housing really bad. Well, you're about to get more. So we should be fine. Let's have you guys head down here. Alright, we still need to get a builder eventually, but I want to get that Temple of Artemis. We could be the first ones to get it. Which you kind of have to be, otherwise you can't have it. My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. I like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. Cool. Um, yeah, yay for an envoy, but we can't really make use of it, because we don't know any city-states yet. So what really sucks about being on an island. Not that we can't deal with it. The time has come to choose which of our accomplishments. Yep. History marches forward, and the world has entered a new era. So we got a dark age this time. But we don't know what anyone else is a bit doing. Uh, citizens exert 0.5 loyalty, which is less. Which is fine, I guess. It'll be harder to maintain loyalty in your cities so and more difficult to affect the loyalty of everyone else. We can adopt Dark Age policies. If you're not in the late era and earn enough era score for a Golden Age, you'll get a Heroic Age, which would be nice. It'd actually, be awesome if we can do that. We'll see. Free Inquiry, I like. Gain extra era score every time you trigger a Eureka. I think that's what we're going to go for here. Monumentality for districts. Nah. Free inquiry. We have fallen into a dark age. Though our cities will face loyalty challenges, with enough effort, we should be able to rise out of this dark age. I don't think our people are going to care that much. So, we don't have anywhere we could actually put these yet because we don't have wildcard policy slots. But we got Twilight Valor. Extra combat strength for all melee units, but you can't heal. Monasticism, extra science in cities with a holy site, but less culture. Isolationism, can't trade settlers or build new cities. I don't like that, but two food and two um, production could be good if we had enough cities already. And then an inquisition. None of those are useful to us. So we're just going to ignore them. Cool. <laughs> All right. And that's fine, I guess. I feel like I'm going to need to bring my archers over here. Let's go ahead and get them moving. Archers, over here. Thank you. And then you guys can come in here and heal. But we need to hit these guys back. They're, uh, they're starting to hurt Roxburg a lot. Which is bad. We can have you guys move out for now. All right, granary's done. Government plaza is tempting. Campus is, yeah, easy. Want a campus there? In fact, you know what? Government plaza here, and then campus there afterwards. That's the way to do it. Heal up, please. Archers move out. So here's a problem. They're gonna, yep, come and attack my archers. 
That was pretty obvious. There's another one? Where are they getting all these units? Dang it. Heal up first. You fortify. These barbarians are insane, man. They're worse than everyone else so far. Yeah, just defend yourself. Warriors are healed. Let's bring them down south. Scouts keep healing. And archers keep healing. I might have to bring the scouts inland, but... That'll probably be the worst case scenario. I think we're gonna be safe otherwise. Well, I was wrong. What the hell? What the hell, civilization? God damn. Well, at least it didn't hurt. Many dispute the actual start of the classical era, but you know it was when Scotland Wealth discovered currency. Not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Being able to build markets could be good. For buying things, of course. Let's get bronze working now. And let's also slap these guys up. Got hurt a little bit, but there are... Oh, I did not mean to end that turn yet, but archers aren't healed, so it's fine. We're almost definitely going to get the Temple of Artemis. In fact, that looks inevitable at this point. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's fire back now that we can. Beautiful. All right. There you go. And then we can run away next turn and hope that we live to fight another day. Man, I need to do something here cuz these barbarians are all over. Okay. Heal up. Archers, shoot up. And then eventually we're going to move down this way. We're going to take this one first, I think, because it's just going to be a little bit easier once we get our warriors over there. But I'm going to let them heal. Thank goodness those boys again, have shields. Have opportunity to enhance. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and fell. And you can foresee the future too. We're going to give Pingala researching. Look back over the past with its changing empires that rose and mm -hmm. fell. Mm -hmm. And you can foresee the future too. Cool. 50% production towards settlers I think I'm going to get. I think we're going to switch out God King for that. Because I want more settlers. We could switch out Discipline as well. Maybe for Maritime Industries? Yeah, let's get more... We're going to keep shooting. We only lost, like, five... Yeah, five health or something. So it's not... Or five strength against them, so it's not that bad. Political philosophy, please, so I can get a better government. Could be nice. You never know. Roxburg. As soon as we get enough gold, I think I'm going to buy you a builder. Because you need more housing yet again. Uh, go ahead and stay on alert here, archers. And we'll have our warriors do the same. And Temple of Artemis. Let's go. Oh, get out of here, you stupid ships. Temple. When I saw the house of Artemis that mounted to the clouds, those other marvels lost their brilliancy. And I said, Lo, apart from Olympus, the sun never looked on aught so grand. A little bit of extra era score for us. Keep us out of that dark age, hopefully. Progress toward drama and poetry has advanced considerably for completing a wonder. Bronze is the mirror of the form. Wine of the mind. 
Not gonna lie, encampments are sounding super tempting right now. We can also we've also revealed iron, but doesn't look like we have any, which is sad. All right, go ahead and get astrology out of the way, and then now that the Temple of Artemis is done, we can go straight for more. An oracle could allow us to get great people for cheaper. Actually, Sterling's expanded a lot. Look at the size of it. Give me a settler, though. I want that. I'm, I'm going to want it as soon as possible. We might as well make it now. And then we're probably going to expand down here next, where all this wheat is. Oh, there is more horses, or more elephants to get up here. So I don't know for sure. That's right. You keep going back and forth. And they're back. Luckily, Sterling can grow quite a bit. Six out of eleven. Well, seven out of eleven now. Has a whole lot of room. You're going down soon, buddy. Okay, note to self. Build Spearman. Um, thanks for the pleasantries, but I don't know if I care. So there's... They met us somehow over here. We don't know how. We know who Genghis Khan is. Let me guess. He has a powerful military already? 144? Yeah, I have a strength of 45. Although I am up there on research. I'm ahead of him, at least. Why can't we get past that? Please, help. We'll get there. Yeah, we're not getting any faith anymore. Oh, they have a galley over here. Okay. Probably a good hint as to what I should build physician next. physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. All right, we now have the ability to build holy sites, which I don't care too much for. Walls would be great. So, yeah, let's get some walls going. Then I don't have to rely on my archers for everything. All right, warriors are going to move over. Hmm. You know, Genghis is helping us out a bit. We paid a little bit for it. Oh, no. There's another one over there. Gotcha. Okay. Beautiful. Finally, some damage. Next target, the actual encampment. Huh. I don't know what we did, but he didn't like it. Alright. Knock him out. Move here, and then next turn you should be able to move past, at least I hope. Well, you know what, let's just... Nah, you, they don't have any movement points. That's alright. We can hold up. I should be able to make a city up here as well, somewhere on this coast. And it won't be too hemmed in, I don't think. But I'd love to get one right here. Oh, wow, there's... Man, that's a lot of new information. No fresh water. Other, uh, far other friendly cities? Okay. Uh, new resources. Inner ring yield? Hmm. Strong yields adjacent to the site. Okay, that's cool info. I didn't know you provided all that info anymore. She really likes this spot. But I still think this one is probably ideal. Now it's just a case of getting down there. But before we do that, I mean, is there a good spot for a holy site? Kind of? This would be okay. So would this. But I want a library. I want science. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to switch spots. Get our butts moving. And here come the scouts. They just waited. 
for it to be most inconvenient as possible. That's alright. They're gonna head back. They're gonna spawn some enemies. Good times will be had by all. Hopefully you can the archers can shoot from here. We're gonna find out. Trading posts have been created. Between Sterling and Roxborough. Nice. Your grace. We have obtained greater knowledge in the art of building static fortifications. Each of us is carving a stone, erecting a column, or cutting a piece of stained glass in the construction of something much bigger than ourselves. We're probably going to harvest this stone and use it to build a bigger project. That's what I'm thinking. Let's get the wheel because it's like 1425 BC and we still don't have that. This is perfect. Just the fact that we can shoot like that. Alright, this camp is a goner. 10 out of 10. It doesn't stand a chance. Uh, yeah, keep trading. There's really nothing else we can do. We don't know where the Mongol capital is. Or anything. May I suggest that we construct a government building to memorialize and strengthen our current government? I mean, you can, but doesn't mean I'm going to do it. Uh, government plaza's done. Now, since we have a bonus on... Ships. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a galley. And then get ourselves a bonus to culture as well. Because an extra six uh, culture from Sterling would be beautiful. No reason to take damage. Extra damage if we can avoid it. Bada boom. Extra gold. A little bit of era score. We are almost out of a dark age. Or uh, almost preventing a dark age, I should say. Now we can head everyone back down this way to take out this one. And then we can finally settle. So I tell you what. Oh my lord, man. Get back up this way. And then you guys can finally travel. Go. Jeez. So fickle. All right, having our first uh, C unit will also help out a lot. Since the uh, Navy will boost our era score just a little bit. Genghis Khan has built the Hanging Gardens. I'm not incredibly surprised. How is he ahead of me? We got the same science per turn. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. There we go. Just need to smack him up a couple times. He'll learn. Even if he has to learn the hard way. Water mill for Sterling will be a 10 out of 10 improvement. Out of this house. Alright, good job, archers. Let's have you guys move Don't down this way. The wheel. Just realign it. Hmm. Rice and wheat gain extra food each. That's going to be fantastic. Sterling's going to grow like crazy. Mm, Shipbuilding is so tempting. So celestial navigation. So is horseback riding, but we don't have a pasture yet. Maybe we should change that. All right, library's done. Water mill is super tempting, but I think... I think I'm going to get the water mill and then buy us a builder. Go over here and stay attached to the archers. And we can buy a builder. He can repair this and then he can head over to Roxborough and get us these horses, finally. Which Genghis might want. Opportunity has arrived for a change into a new and more powerful system of government. Politics is finally. the art of the possible, the attainable. The art of the next best. Envoys aren't that useful, so Apandana is probably not that great. Charismatic leader is always fine, so is Diplomatic League. In fact, Diplomatic League might be great as well. Each first envoy you send counts as two. More importantly, though, government. We don't need a warlike government, so we don't need oligarchy. Because there's no one to go to war with. So it's between autocracy and classical republic. I want the great person points. They're so good. So I think we're going to go for that. Although the production towards wonders could be nice. But I think Classical Republic's the way to go. 
Scotland adopts government by classical republic, leading to a new political age for the citizens. Gives us a new economic slot. We also lose our, um... Oh, we lose our bonus to maritime industry, so... It's gonna take a little bit longer for that galley to get done. But... To replace that... We can get caravan series, which is gonna give us more gold per turn. Which I like. Although, corvée could be good, too. Hmm... If we get charismatic leader here, and then we could adopt. We could adopt a wild card if we wanted to, or, or a dark card. But none of them are that good. Great scientist points seems like it would be obvious, but I'm actually thinking I'm gonna get Corby. Yeah, we're gonna go economic here. We're gonna try to get some more wonders. I think this could work out for us. We are now out of a dark age for the next age, or at least we, we're not going to get one is what I'm trying to say. All right, warriors, move down here. We're going to have you guys heal up. Builders are going to come over here and repair first and foremost. If you'll do me this favor. But you will, because I'm kind of telling you to do it. I'm not asking. Please don't get it twisted. Heal. Move. Repair. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, Sterling's looking pretty good so far. Alright, now come over here and get us some horses. Mm, actually... I might have you go ahead and build this plantation first. Hey! America! Welcome to the United States of America. If you conduct yourself well, you can consider us friends. Good for you. I'm not going to tell you where my capital is yet. Bravery is being the only one who knows you're afraid. All right. Extra production toward cavalry could be okay. Flanking bonuses could be all right. So we've met another empire. Give me drama and poetry. Why not? Eight turns before our galley is done, then we could finally do some more exploration. Kind of holding off on that. Okay. You know what? Inch us forward a bit. They're probably going to attack us right away. Which I'd rather you not do, but they probably will. You want my three diplomatic favor? Nah. Not right now. Nah. I don't get very much of that, so I'm going to keep what I can get. Dude, why does nobody like us already? What have we done to you jerks? Go ahead, shoot them. Then our warriors are healed, so we'll move down and take the other path. You guys will get us some extra gold per turn. Beautiful. And trades will continue. As originally designed. I don't... Wow, you already have 162 diplomatic favor. Jesus. This is actually a pretty incredible deal for four diplomatic favor. You know what? I'm going to do that. <laughs> That's a bunch of extra gold per turn. For the tiniest amount of favor. Alright, we're going to keep inching forward over here. Roxborough still needs housing. I mean, yeah, we could have, we could get mines. I want to see what I can get from harvesting the stone. Especially since the water mill is about to be done. If I could get a bunch of production and I could start a wonder right away, could be a good, good place to go. Um, speaking of construction, knowledge of it has advanced considerably thanks to a water mill. And we get a Eureka bonus. Let's see. Rapidania. Envoys whenever you build a wonder. Two great work slots. Not that great. Oracle seems greater. Especially if we start going for faith. That could be amazing. So I tell you what. Let's go for the Oracle. 19 turns. 87 production from harvesting this, this stone. Brings it down to 15 turns. Why not try it? You know? 
All right, can we attack them? We can. Get them. Wonderful. Okay, and that didn't... Did that take up a build spot? I think it may have. That's all right. Hey. That's right. No hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. Stable horseman. Could be good. Probably want to start building encampments soon. I'm going to have my archers move this way. My warrior, of course, is going to move here. We're going to take this spot. We'll finally be barbarian free for once in our lives. But that is going to be it for this episode. If that plays Civilization 6 Gather and Storm, if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming. It probably won't stop coming. Not going to lie, this one's not going as well as the last one. So uh, damn them mods. But we're doing pretty well on the science front, especially compared to America, apparently. Not so good on the military front. We'll see how it all works out. Thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.